As a final introductory note, I would like to set the tone by stating outright that the vast majority of what we call economics, as it is presented in universities and financial circles today, is really an outdated, irrelevant, and increasingly detrimental form and system when it comes to the actual maintenance of life on the planet Earth. It's life blind is a great term. There is no structural recognition of any basic natural law processes, principles of earthly sustainability, public health factoring, and the like. In the view of the market, these are externalities. And in the millions of pages of mainstream economic theory printed from the 17th century onward, you will likely find not one sentence about the natural technical processes that actually create and assist in meeting human needs, the sociological importance of meeting those needs for social stability and invariably public health, generating optimized industrial methods to ensure overall efficiency or anything of such. To paraphrase economist Thorsten Veblen, who will be mentioned again in a moment, a prominent historical figure, there are really two systems at work. There's a business system and there's a technical or scientific system. The business system has, again, no active recognition of the technical system, hence the natural science behind it. And it works in the modern era to now perpetually sabotage, in the words of Veblen, our scientific capacity and possibility due to its outdated, narrow frames of reference. The point being that true economics can only be understood within the context of physical science. And the traditional market logic has been backwards in its orientation, with most everything centered around short-sighted, subjective intuitions, mostly having to do with human behavior and human nature. 